Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, I am going to be showing you how to make your own private server for Gario. Now, just wondering if you're wondering why I speak like this, it's because um, QuickTime actually loops back the audio and it makes it hard to talk. So, I have to take my earphones out. So, the first thing that you need to do is you need to install Node.js. Now, it's pretty self thing to do. You go to the website, um, then you just download it and install it. It installs like any application for Mac. Now, you need to download augur-master.zip, then the WS module. Uh, they have their GitHub pages. pages. Um, what I suggest you do is you go to the um, reddit.com slash r slash agario. Now, search for agar. Um, click on the agar link. Then you should have a GitHub um, download. So just download it from the bottom right corner. Uh, now, while that's downloading, you need to download this, which is on GitHub as well. So, once you have downloaded them, you need to extract both of them. While they are extracting, you need to go to terminal. <coughs> okay. Um. So, um, crap. Well, you need to type in CD. Actually, let me quickly create a new window. You need to change the directory to basically type in CD space, then just drag and drop the Ogre Master. Actually, I did it wrong. You need to drag and drop the SRC. Hit enter. Once you are there, type in npm space install ws. It should, uh, it should it should spin this gray box um, and once you in that it should put files right here god it's really hard to talk so yeah it's right here just wait for it See. Now, there are errors that will pop up, but it's okay. That doesn't really matter. So, it should say error, error, error. Um, you, so, you can tell if it's done if this is a X, um, not a dot. Um, okay. So, you're still in search, uh, a source. From here, you need to type in sudo dash s. Hit enter. It's gonna ask you for a password. Now, it's not gonna say what the password is, but if you don't have a password, you need to have a password. Now, 
if you did it correctly, you should see bash dash bash dash three dot two pound sign. Now you now need to type in node index dot js. So there you have it. Um if help me get alive, that's all my name. Um is watching it. I just um would like to have a TXT file um that comes okay, that just sounds wrong. So it basically has the commands because if you're also running a github page at the background for like the commands um you're gonna get some pretty bad lag so yeah um, um let's see if i did it correctly um gary actually co uh, to connect to it you need to type in a gary I don't, um, I really hate it that, um, Zeech actually killed off the, it's just to prevent clans, um, dominating the entire server. Um, oh yeah, here's the code. Now, there's this annoying thing that most browsers, eh? there's this annoying thing that most browsers do, and that is, if they see a code like this, they will cut off the JavaScript part. Um, the reason is because people are like, oh, I want to hack a Facebook account. Um, he's not stopping this code. Well, it just gives you, it just gives him access to your computer, to be honest. So that's why they cut it off. Now, you want everything to load before you type in the code. Command paste. Now let's step in the pool job was colon. Hit enter. Come on. You want to go on Well, if you're having a problem with the console saying that the port is locked. Uh, quit Skype. Now, um, let me see this is this. I really need to get out now. Um, yeah. Um, lag sucks because I'm recording. <laughs> but, as you can see, it works. Thank you.